playing on the beat Best friends, welcome back to the channel. Okay, Mega Look is sponsoring this video, all right? But as you saw in the beginning of this video, the curls on this wig was superb, okay? So, this is the packaging, this is how she came. It is a HD lace wig, 24 inches. It does have combs and adjustable straps with an elastic band. I did not cut the elastic band off of this wig, I left it on. and. Yes, I actually like it because if I did not use glue, it could be glueless, all right? So you do not have to glue this wig down for it to, you know, do its thing thing for you, all right? So the first step of business is we're going to bleach these knots. Oh, and I did not plug this wig. I did not have to because it was already pre-plugged. So I'm going to use 30 Volume Developer with Quick Blue Bleach, my favorite combo, favorite. I'm going to do two scoops because I was bleaching two wigs. So, uh, you know, two scoops. But normally I would do one scoop or one scoop of developer and then that would be enough for me. I would mix it together to get the thick consistency that I like. Not super runny, not super uh, thick, but just perfect, all right? So I'm gonna lay the wig out and I'm gonna proceed to um, apply the bleach onto it. So you, a lot of people tell you, oh, you don't wanna put pressure on the bleach when you're pushing it in. I actually like to put a little pressure because I want it to go through a little bit, the tiniest amount, so it could cover each knot, all right? Because if not, then when it, it if you don't do that, then it's not gonna expand to the other side. It's just gonna stay on the underneath portion of the lace. So you wanna make sure that the knots are bleached so that's why you see me push it through this video is sped up so it looks like i'm doing it aggressively but i'm really not i'm taking my time pushing it through so i can see where it's going okay so you just you definitely want to do that and you want to make sure that it's through so you can not see the knots and the bleach is covering it now you run the risk of over bleaching the knots not over bleaching the knots but over bleaching the roots okay and if that happens just go in with um um, hair color and you could just fix that but you want to make sure those knots is gone all right so I did let it process for about 25 minutes it's cold here in LA so it took a little bit longer for it to process I'm going to rinse it off I'll, after it process I'm going to rinse the rig off with warm water and then I'm gonna go in with my purple shampoo I like to use vanilla no yellow it's a very a very violet shampoo so it's going to turn your wig um the knots is going to tone them out really fast okay so you definitely want to be careful with this particular purple shampoo i am lathering it, lathering it up on there and then i'm also going to take some ajax which is dish soap and i'm going to put that on the remainder of the hair just to make sure i strip the hair from anything that's on this wig we want to make sure that it's super clean because it's, it's coming from factories and you don't know where the wigs are I did go in and deep condition this wig with silicone mix. I do not know where that clip is, but just know I did do that. Let it sit on there for about 15 minutes, and then I went ahead and rinsed it off. All right, so we're going to jump into um, doing some baby hairs. This is my mousse from Cantu. I love this mousse for my um, wigs. Um, a lot of people say that this mousse makes their hair crunchy, but I feel like I don't have that problem. And I think the reason why I don't have that problem is because when I do use this particular hair mousse, my hair is very wet. It's drenched, okay? So it's like... Um, it's mixing in with the water so I don't have that crispiness, okay? So um, I, I am going to go in and pull out some baby hairs and then I'm going to mold it with the exact same mousse. And I'm going to do this to both sides. I'm just making sure that it is looking how I want it to. This just makes it easy for me when it comes to 
um, applying this wig to my head and taking pictures of the wig before I install it. And then I also like to use a little bit of got to be free spray to spray the hairline so it won't move. And then I'll take my um, rapid strips, wrap it down, and then I'll sit my wig under the dryer until it's fully dry. And this is what my wig looked like after it came out. I love this texture. The texture is so nice. Like, oh my God. And this is me with the wig on without the lace cut. And it looks so good. Oh my goodness. Like, you could barely see that lace right there. So... Um, we're gonna go ahead and do a glueless install now. This is a new product from even I think this is their vitamin E I did buy a, a couple of the new uh, sprays that came out So there's gonna be multiple videos with different even products So I could just showcase them to you guys just in case if you guys are interested in it and I use them like I use any other spray on um, um, I, I don't even want to call this adhesive because it's really not but spray on products you spray in one section, blow dry it a little bit, lay your lace down, and then uh, blow dry it until it's fully dry. And you do that to the entire portion of your wig. So after your wig is dry, I'm going to go ahead and to cut off the excessive lace. And um, I'm going to use my Ruby Kisses in the shade 16 to help my lace blend a little bit more. Um, it's a little ashy um, on me, but once I put the makeup on there, it, it is going to like blend in way better than what it is doing right now. And then I go ahead and take my spritz and I mold my baby hair down and I do that to both sides, the exact same thing. Once the baby hair is laid, I'm going to go ahead and put my hair in a banana clip and then I'm going to spray my hairline with this exact same spray that I use um, and I'm going to spray it down and I'm going to let it melt with my elastic band and once it's melting, I'm going to go ahead with my wax stick and I'm going to put that on my hairline with some um, like Beyond the Zone heat protectant sheen spray. Um, I'm going to use that as well to make my hair shiny. I love this method, okay? It makes your hair just look so good. And I'm using my flat, my pressing comb to press it out just to make sure it looks nice. And that's basically the end of this video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this hair is very, very nice. So if you're interested, I will definitely leave the link and everything that I use below in the description box for you guys. And until next time, bye best friends.
Put your on the beat.